Uh, I've been painting for about seven years, I should say. As a child, I've wanted to be an artist. But, um, you know, when you sort of get a bit older, you think, well, that's not practical. Um, so I'll just do something else. And, and then also you find you, you're told that you can't make money as an artist. I mean, that was my, my part of my day job. Um, and unfortunately, I became ill, so then I could no longer do the, the dog group. I couldn't work on the shop floor. Uh, so I ended up working from home, and then that's why you know, I had spare time. Then. So I ended up sort of painting and painting, and I'm answering the phone in between and painting in between phone calls. <laughs> the materials I use are oil paints, and I paint on a stretch canvas. I'd always wanted to try oils and I, I did try oils one time and it was awful, oh, it was just awful, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Um, but then I persevered with oils and found that I did really, really appreciate that, um, you know, the colours and the richness and the way you can move, move the paint around. I work from photographs most of the time um, just to get the basic uh, outline and the form of the animal. It's just normally an animal or a bird, and just go straight in with a, quite a long brush with a like a small um, filbert type of, but with a long handle, and I'll just put the points uh, and measure out my, my design, um, and then straight in with the I don't know the background or the, the shadow, big big shapes first. I try and get the eyes in quite soon because then the company really while I'm painting it sounds a bit strange, but I like to have the faces there, and then I can concentrate on anything else. The original stag piece that was my rapturous, the, the green green background, it took me about an hour and I just suddenly had this idea and I was like right and I did it, painted it and then very quickly and then I went over again the next day and just finished him off. Um, it was the first wildlife piece I'd ever painted and I uh, actually saw it in the same day and I was like oh <laughs> what? <laughs> And then he became the, um, the you know, on the rapture, on the rapture's design. So that was like, oh, really unusual. But he was just a quick piece, you know, quite a big piece. I mean, 70 by 80, I think, was the original. Um, but didn't didn't take very long at all because the idea was really strong. I've always been a bit colour mad, and I've got I've got synesthesia. So you you know, from an early childhood, words, colours, numbers, it's all interchangeable. Um, I was telling somebody else about that yesterday actually. You know, like, maybe, what's that? maybe that's where you get your colour ideas from. I don't think it is, but I think it gives you a good colour sense because you are always thinking in colour, even when you're reading I don't know, a page from, or just a newspaper. With the amount of people I've spoken to since I've been doing this have come in and say, oh, well, I can't, you know, no, I've got no, no talent whatsoever. I think, oh, well, it's not talent, it's. If, you know, if you want to do it, you can do it. You know, you're just as good as anybody else once you put the hours in. Definitely, I'd say paint every day, only because it really does. You have to be really disciplined to do that. And you do need to be able to start your day as you would if you were working for somebody else. Um, and you need to be able to press on when things are going wrong. If your painting is going wrong, or you just have, you know, it, it, life's happening, and you still need to be able to do it. I'd also say do um, what you like doing. I think make it make it fun for yourself, as nice for yourself as possible. Paint, paint the the subjects that you would love to paint, and in the style that you want to paint, that comes naturally. 